hey, want to support me and my videos? Considering donating to my coffee. Every little bit counts and those who donate $5 or more will get shoutouts in upcoming videos. A link can be found in the description for those interested. Thank you and I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello world and all who inhabit it, my name is Minish May and we're here with Season 2 of Explorers of Sky Randomized. And this time, I'm playing it with Sky Temple, which means we're gonna have profiles, and the guild is gonna be randomized, and all of the NPCs are gonna be randomized, and it's gonna be great. The last time I did a randomized playthrough by myself was back in 2020 when I made my comeback to YouTube, and me and Seth also did a race a couple years ago, and it was a lot of fun. I've honestly been missing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I was originally going to play Super Mystery Dungeon, but... I don't know, like, I, I wanted to have a game next that I really, really enjoyed. And look, I know I've played Explorers of Sky twice on the channel already, but like, that's that's what my channel was founded on. It was Mystery Dungeon. So you know what? We're gonna go through again. We're gonna we're gonna replay it. I'm gonna put my all into the cutscenes now that I'm not extremely nervous like I was when I first started playing. And you know what? It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really scared to see what we get. For those of you who haven't seen the series from 2020, I was a Weedle named Miel, and my partner was a Slugma named Pele. And despite the odds, we fucking kicked ass. It was amazing. And I'm excited to see what this next one's gonna unfold. Anyways, if you guys want to see more, please be sure to subscribe and follow for more. It's gonna be great. Let's get a head start and jump into the world of Pokemon. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited only by Pokémon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now are you ready? Then, let the questions begin! Touch grass. <laughs> so, okay, I should have said this when I began, but um, the only thing that I really changed with uh, like the settings and the randomizing and all that I put monster houses specifically to start in Amp Plains, which is when you originally, in like in the original games, would start seeing monster houses. So that's the only thing that's gonna change. It should give me a little bit of an easier time. I know if, listen, listen, I don't like headaches. <laughs> it's gonna be great. But anyways, uh, the chapter titles and also the personality test is completely randomized. So let's see what we get. Touch grass. Does petting Leafeon count? I'll take a double triple bossy. What the hell? Light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. <laughs> we serve food here, sir. <laughs> you notice that your partner fainted. How do you react? <sighs> Honestly, <laughs> any of these? <laughs> but probably sigh. Good lord, what is happening here? Aurora Borealis steamed hams. Oh my god, I love it. Freedom, imprisonment, it's all an illusion. Gravity is a harness, I have harnessed the harness? Gravity is a harness. What are you doing right now? Existing, nothing, what the? Existing. Have you ever caught a good guy like a real superhero? Nods comically? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Would you rather become furry, become weeb? Furry. Would you like a cool hat? Absolutely. Are you male or female? We're gonna be female. And now your aura will be analyzed. Your aura is the energy that you radiate. Relax, calm yourself, and now press your finger gently on the bow on your real DS that you have that is definitely legal. <laughs> it's fine, that's right. Stay perfectly still, take a deep breath, blah, blah, blah. We've already played this game a million times, it's fine. Your aura is... Ooh! A stately silver. Okay. I'm so scared. Thank you for answering. I hope I get, like, a baby Pokemon, because I want to evolve. I don't want to be, like, a legendary or a third stage evolution, but, you know, I'll take whatever I can get. Thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the lonely type, at least a little bit. Oh god, is this game gonna call me out? You might find that surprising, but do you think it might be a little true? You know what they say, though. We're all a bit lonely every now and then. You probably keep this fact of life to yourself, though. 
But if there's one thing that brings us all together, it's our need to go it solo. So lonely and solitary type like you? I'm okay with this. This is actually... This is really on par for me, because I'm an artist. I will take Smeargle, but also that's horrifying. Thank god the movesets are randomized, because Sketch would be awful. It, w it wasn't awful when I played as Weedle, though, I'll tell you that, because I kept relearning it through Electivire. Oh, it was great. Let's see who we got for partners. Yes. Wait, I if I say no, then I can choose what my other Pokemon would be? You know what? Let's just see what we got. Sableye? Deoxys, Fortress, Shroomish. Oh my god, look at all these guys. We have Snubble! We have a Manaphy! Oh, we could be Bidoof. Oh my god, Chimeco! Oh, I love Chimeco so much! Wait, what the fuck? It just grows a bigger man. As much as I love Chimeco, I kinda wanna go with what we originally had. Which was Smeargle. So let's go with Smeargle. And finally, who will be your partner? Dragonite! I can have a Vulpix, but Vulpix is already a starter that you get anyway, so... We could have Beldum or Bronzong, Makuhita... Oh! That's scary. Skiploom! Oh, we could have a Marie partner? Wobbuffet! Hehehe, <laughs> look at her! Mime Jr. is fun. Oh my god. We could go Wurmple again. Curlia! Curlia would be so cute. Um, I don't know. Mareep is adorable. I know if you start out with, like, the third evolution Pokemon, like, it starts out easy enough, but as the game progresses, it gets really hard. Surf gets cute. I don't know, I don't know. Um... My heart says Mareep. Smeargle and Ampharos. But also Smeargle and Gardevoir. You know, that'd be kind of ironic considering what artists do to poor fucking Gardevoir. Oh man. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it for a minute. I think I ultimately decided that I'm gonna go with Mareep. And for- was that a boy or a girl? Oh no. I'm not even sure if it was a boy or a girl, that's not good. Um... You know what? Their name's gonna be Molly the Mareep, and if they're a boy, they just really like the name Molly, okay? Yes. Okay, that's it, you're all ready to go. You're off to the world of Pokémon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious! Oh god. Chapter 1, Dialga had a fucking heart attack and fucking died. <laughs> whoa, whoa, are, are you okay? No, don't let go. Just a little longer, come on, hang on. No, I can't. Hold on. Wah! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so much fun, dude. How lucky is it that I started with a Smeargle? Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm not gonna start with Sketch, though, so... We'll see what happens. I get, a, I get a move, or I get Sketch, like, every ten levels, right? Is that how Smeargle works? Oh, no. <laughs> Erg. Where... Where am I? I can't... drifting off. Hmm... I'm so scared to see what the guild is. I skipped the intro because when I originally was going to start playing this, I saw who the Volbeat and the Illumis were, and I also saw who the guild was, and I didn't want that to get spoiled. No, I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. I have to steal my courage today. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Mareep's. The footprint is Mareep's. Ah! That was too shocking. Whew. I can't. I 
can't work up the courage to go in after all. I told myself that this is the day, but... I thought that holding onto my personal treasure would inspire me. I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. Oh no, who's Team Skull? Stop it, they're scary! <laughs> hey, Dustclops, did you get a load of that? You bet I did, Shiftery. That little wimp was pacing around. They had something good, right? That wimp had something, that's for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. He just- <laughs> Bro just fell on the ground! What? Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, the Krabby. This is fun. I've missed this game so much, and it's so nice to play it leisurely again. I say leisurely, but you know, it's probably gonna be chaotic as hell. Oh wow, what a pretty sight! Ugh, I love this game so much. For those of you that don't know, Explorers of Sky is my all-time favorite game, which is a little bit spoiler for a future game I'm doing or a, fitch, bleh, a future video that I'm doing but you know what it's fine when the weather's good the seal come out at sundown to blow bubbles oh the seal that actually kind of makes sense all those bubbles catching the setting sun's rays off the waves it's always beautiful this music man oh it's so good I love this game so much it has no right being this good This is where I always come when I'm feeling sorry for myself, but it makes me feel good to be here, like always. Coming here is uplifting. It cheers me up. Hey, what's that? What's going on over there? What? Someone's collapsed on the sand! What happened? Are you okay? Oh, look at this little blip! Oh, that's so cute! Ugh. You're awake! That's a relief. Where... Where am I? You weren't moving at all. I was seriously worried. Do you remember how you ended up unconscious out here? I... I was unconscious? What happened? Well, I'm Molly. Glad to meet you. And you are... I've never seen you around before. What? You say you're a human? You look like a totally normal Smeargle to me. It's true! Oh, these portraits are adorable. I've turned into a Smeargle! But how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? You're telling me the truth? All right then, your name? What's your name? My name? That's right, my name is... I'm gonna try to come up with something good for Smeargle. Uh... BRB. <laughs> so I was trying to look up female artist names and I could go with something stereotypical like Frida, <laughs> Frida Kahlo, but you know what? I saw this name and I really like it. It doesn't really have anything to do with like an artist or anything, but I think it'll fit our little smeargle here. Shiloh. Shiloh and Molly. Oh, Shiloh is your name? Okay, well you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon at least. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see. Many Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. Things have grown somewhat lawless. Ow! Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why, why'd you do that? I <laughs> can't figure it out. We wanted to mess with you. Can't face up to us, can you? What? That's yours, isn't it? No, that's... Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. Ah! <laughs> oh, not gonna make a move to get that back. What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect you to be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> what a bunch of pricks. <laughs> oh, what should I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. Oh, the little crying expression. That's so sad. If I lose that... No, there's no time to waste. 
I've got to get it back. Hey, can I get you to help me? What should I do? We don't have time to waste. Come on. Got it. Really? You'll really help? Thank you. Let's go quickly. Oh, God. Oh, no. Gigantic anchorage? Head for the stairway. As you do, you can attack enemies by pressing A. All right. So before I do anything here, I'm going to go to this. And my top screen is going to be my team stats. And I'm going to make my speed fast. All right. Oh, no. Molly's a boy. <laughs> That's okay. Molly is just very feminine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. All right. Let's see. Mud shot for me? Wait a minute. All right. Let me see if our, uh... Okay, so our, our types are the same, and my ability is Technician. Boost the damage the Pokemon inflicts with moves that have low attack power. Oh, okay. And Serene Grace improves the chances that a Pokemon's move delivers any added effect? Yo, okay. All right, Molly, let's see you. All right, Electric and Adaptability. Boost the power of the Pokemon's move that match its type, okay. Protects the Pokemon from the recoil damage of moves such as Takedown. Joined at Laughable Chapel. <laughs> Alright, these are gonna be great, I think. I'm, I'm hoping that they'll be good. I can imagine Serene Grace is gonna be insane. Alright, so we got Mudshot and Earthquake. Oh no. That's your starting move? We're gonna just gently turn that off. Because I can't let that hit me. I'm gonna hopefully run into a TM and see if uh, Molly is compatible with it. But it's fine. Alright, let's see what we got. A roll call orb? Okay. I just want to find some poke- Oh, hey, Giga Drain will be nice. That's okay, that's fine. That's not okay. Alright, someone has Giga Drain and I really want it. What I'm going- Actually- Okay, that's nice. So I have the little shortcut that'll let me choose uh, choose moves on the fly, which is very nice. No. Come on now. Oh? That's nice. I'm gonna just gently ingest, and I'll take that. What's this? Lunar Ribbon? We don't really have any use for that. Okay, where's the Pokemon? I really want to fight them. This is probably a mistake. <gasps> no, 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 no. Well, that's actually kind of nice. Yeah, just keep using Spore. No. Hey, stop that. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Yes, put you to sleep. Um, I'm gonna wait. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Metal Burst to wear off. Uh-oh. Oh, Spore is gonna be beautiful! Holy moly. Okay, but you should probably stop using that. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna turn that off, because that's getting a little bit annoying, and plus you only have one left. Please have Giga Drain. Nope. That's okay. Oh no. Okay, yeah, you know what? You can use it one more time, okay? Just go for it. No. Oh dear. Are we gonna die here? It's okay, it's fine. You know what? It, it, it's, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> we didn't really have anything of use and I used the protein, so... It's fine. I made some bad choices, but I just want to grind for some moves because... Earthquake? Is a little scary. Is that what they call a mystery dungeon? Hey, this isn't the time for this. We've got to find Shiftry and a sidekick to recover my item. Let's go, Shiloh. Alright. Gigantic anchorage. Ooh! Okay. Alright. We're in business. Avalanche! No. <laughs> I randomized the uh, TMs that people can learn, so we'll see what happens. It's taking damage. Why is it blinking? That's not good. From what I remember, when a Pokemon blinks, it makes a Pokemon spawn on the floor. Okay, you're down. That is good. Any any joy seeds that I get, we are immediately eating because uh, if I've learned anything from my 
old series. Okay, you know what? It's time for you to use Earthquake. Please. Oh, this sucks. Yes. Yes. No, I didn't mean to hit you. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, this is sucking. Doo -doo -doo -doo. At least I leveled up. Alright. I leveled up. And our... Our stats are only going up by one. Oh, that's lovely. I love it here. Okay. No? Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Everything's fine. Do -do 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 -do. I just... I gotta find some TMs for you, Marie. It's gonna be okay. I'll see you guys if I make any progress. We'll see what happens. Found a TM. Let's see if anybody's compatible with it. Vacuum cut. Could be nice. Except it's sticky, so, you know, that's kind of a problem. And we have lock-on specs. What do those do again? The Pokemon's accuracy when using thrown items. Nah. It's okay. Alright, what's this? Water pulse. Um... Oh, someone can use it. Molly! Oh, yes, hello. Now we're in business. Alright, I'm gonna change your tactics. Or IQ, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to throw that. Although vacuum cut would be kind of nice to have. I guess we can keep it. Thanks, Molly. Oh, no. Okay, well, actually, you have... Oh, I can't even use it. Yes! Oh, Molly, you're so good. All right, nice. Yeah, so joy seeds and uh, gummy gummy juices, They're, those are gonna be our saving grace because we're only going up by one for stats, which isn't fantastic, but it's fine. Maybe choosing Smeargle wasn't a good idea, but it's okay. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, you know what to do. Blaze kick. It knows blaze kick. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's that? Is that a is this a evolution stone? It is. What's this? A reviver seed. Uh ooh, okay, we can ooh, Molly, you're stacked. Holy crap. Okay. Nope, I want that. Please. <laughs> now we have a fighting chance at least. I- I'm really liking Molly's moveset already. What have we got down here? A trap burst orb? Or trap bust? We can use that. Gonna try to use as many- Oh! There's a grass coronet there. Okay, the stairs are over there. Okay! Well, time to go to the stairs, because I'm not dealing with poison. Oh, I'm sure Team Skull is gonna be terrible to fight, but it's okay. Nice. Oh, you got Spore and Vacuum Cut? This is gonna be great. You know, I was really worried for, like, the Dusknor and uh, Luxray fights coming up. Ah. That's awesome. Can you- can you tank this? Okay, good. Nice. Alright. Now. Oh my god, we're leveling up! Yay! Life is good! Awesome, I leveled up! Molly, you're the best. You're the best sheepy boy ever. Molly- Molly is a gender neutral name, right? No. Aw, oh, that means there's a Steelix on the floor. No! Oh, this is... This is great! We're gonna put Spore on just to have it, but worst comes to worst, I'll turn it off. Hi! You look like a swell fella. Ooh! Oh, that's so good that that can hit from two tiles away. I mean, of course it can hit from two tiles away, but like, I don't know, for some reason I thought that it wouldn't be able to hit while 
uh, Molly was inside the tunnel. Okay, nothing over here. There's another guy. Vital spirit! What? Too bad you're dead. A rose a raid. Alright, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm a little worried about it. I didn't think Fake Out would do that much damage to me. Hi! Okay, well, the good thing is that these Pokemon aren't taking too much damage to kill. Don't you still have Water Pulse? Why aren't you going around tunnels or uh, corners to hit it? Alright. Ooh, Magma Cavern music. Slugma! Hi, Pele! It's been forever! Oh. That's okay, we'll heal up. Polyrath! Oh, that is spooky! You spore, you spore, please, you spore. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is awesome. Okay. Further into the dungeon we go. That's a whole dugong. Why would you wake it up? Yes. Okay, this is good. This is great. Level 9. I'm pretty sure I learn a move every 10 levels, which is a little sucky, but it's okay. Because TMs exist. <gasps> no, none of that. None of that. At least these Pokemon are, like, going down relatively easily now. Just needed to get some good moves on Mareep. They, they got all AoE attacks. And, you know, Earthquake's a little scary, but it's fine. Ooh, no, 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 none of that. Sleep tight, Polyrath. Okay, what's in here? Oh, this is a scary tile set. Okay. See... <sighs> That's fine. Glaceon, hi! You know, not much can scare me now that I know, like, everything about, like, the randomizer. Like, I remember back when I was first starting the game, and I saw all the scary tile sets in Beach Cave back in my first playthrough, and, like, it was scary then, but now nothing can scare, scare me. The only thing that can scare me is when something uses a Parish Song, or something uses Dark Void. <laughs> uh, it'd be kind of amazing if I get Sketch, considering I'm a Smeargle. But also that's so funny, considering that my- when I first- my- my first playthrough of the randomizer was, uh... Hold, hold on, let me- let me eat this. Let me get my thoughts together. Which one does this do? Special defense. I will ingest that for myself. Okay, so anyways, um, as I was saying, it's funny considering that Miel in my first randomizer, uh, her starting move was Sketch. And now, I'm a Smeargle. That's honestly kind of funny. Anyways, it's one of these horrible layouts. Alright, we made it to the end. Crowded Jetty. Hi guys! Uh, hey! Well, well, if it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. Ugh. Give me... Give me back what you stole from me! That's my personal treasure! It means everything to me! Treasure, you say? So, that thing is really valuable, huh? Could be worth more than we'd hoped for, I'd say. We ought to try selling it. Who knows? It might make a good price. Ha ha ha! All the more reason not to give it back! What?! If you want it back that badly, come and get it! <laughs> oh no! It's okay, we got Spore. We got Spore, and it should be okay. I'm going to... Uh, mm, I can't do shit, so I'm gonna move closer to you. Oh. Okay. Okay! <laughs> that wasn't difficult at all. Ow, ow, ow. Ugh, we got roughed up. B blast it! How'd we get wiped out by wimps like you? Bah! Here you go, take it then. Whoa, don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah, you just remember that. There they go, skedaddling away. Oh, it's my relic fragment! Am I ever glad? I actually did manage to get it back. It's only because you agreed to help me, Shiloh. Thank you, Shiloh! 
Thank you. Seriously. I love this portrait for Smeargle. My only help because I happened to be there. Was that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Here's what they stole. This is a relic fragment. Well, at least, that's what I started calling it. But this relic fragment, it's my precious treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden troves full of treasure and strange relics. Uncharted territories veiled in darkness. And new lands just waiting to be discovered. Such places must be full of unimaginable gold and treasure. In history, wouldn't it make, be amazing to make historic discoveries? That's what I always dreamed of. It's all exciting to me. So, one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but take a closer look. See? That inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true. There is a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this, and I'm an artist! There must be some significance to this pattern. This relic fragment must be the key to legendary places, to areas where precious treasure lies. At least, that's the feeling I get. That's why I wanted to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something somewhere. I want to discover what that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier, I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice, but I chickened out. What about you, Shiloh? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory, and you somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have anywhere to go and stay after this? Uh... <laughs> if not, can I ask a big favor? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you, Shiloh. So, will you? Please? Wh what should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue. I don't know what an exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this and this Pokemon and form an exploration team? Are you... Huh? Am I what? What do you mean, are you? You're trying to talk me into this. What? Talk you into it? I didn't even think of it! Well, I'm a complete coward, honestly. I mean, yes, I thought I could depend on you, Shiloh. But during that fight with Shiftry earlier, having you there with me, I felt really brave. I think I could do anything as long as you're helping me, Shiloh. So, come on, I'm begging you. Let's form an exploration team, you and me. Alright. It's true, I do have nowhere to go. I don't have a clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Molly for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. Yes? Really? You'll form an exploration team with me? Yes, thank you! We're gonna be a great combination. Let's make this work. First, we should go to Huntail's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we need to train to become a first-rate exploration team. I'm sure the training will be very tough. But let's give it our best, Shiloh. Aw, oh, look at that. I love them. And so, Molly and Shiloh formed an exploration team. This turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. And after four years, we have season two of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky randomized. I can't wait to see you guys for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!